Hi, my name is Doug Schneider. Welcome to the latest episode of Real Hi-Fi, where I want to begin by telling you a story about what happened many years ago at Canada's National Research Council. Now, it's no secret that we test loudspeakers there and have since the year 2000 in their anechoic chamber. And Paul Barton, the founder of PSB Speakers, has tested his loudspeakers there since the early 70s. And oftentimes, our paths collide. And one day, when we collided, Paul and I were talking, and he introduced me to a gentleman he called the Keeper of the Kilogram. Now, the Keeper of the Kilogram's job there was very important. He held on to the national standard for what constitutes exactly how much a kilogram weighs. And why is that important? Let's say you're making a scale and it has to weigh out exactly one kilogram. How do you know you got it right? You have to gauge it against a reference. And this gentleman held the reference. When I learned of this gentleman's job, I started immediately thinking about hi-fi, which is what I often do. And it reminded me why in hi-fi, while it's not that easy to establish a reference, it's important because in order to gauge how good of a product you're reviewing or potentially buying, you have to have something to judge it against. What that developed into is what we call the recommended reference component list. It's on soundstagehifi.com. It began in September 2010. The first entry was the Revel Salon 2 loudspeaker, and it's been added to every month since. So there are now well over 100 components in there, wide ranging in price, and the real purpose of this list is to give our readers benchmarks of various components at all these price ranges, so when they're looking for something to compare whatever they're looking at to, these provide great points of reference. So what constitutes a recommended reference component? This is where I'm going to bring in the Focal Cora 806, which was added to the list in March 2020. Top of the list, obviously, sound quality, and that must be reflected in the words in the review. Furthermore, it must have won a Reviewer's Choice Award. Now, our Reviewer's Choice Award isn't selected just by the reviewer, but by our editorial team. And the criteria for it are exceptional value and or state-of-the-art performance. Insofar as the 806 goes, Diego Estan reviewed it on soundstageaccess.com in February 2020. Now, it's priced at $990 per pair in the US, so it's hardly the most expensive speaker in the world, so you can't expect the world. But in the review, it was obvious that Diego loved the sound of it. He compared it to speakers priced much higher. Other references, he felt it really punched above its price point, and therefore, when it got its Reviewer's Choice Award, it was for exceptional value. On top of Diego's listening impressions were also a commendable set of objective measurements that we produced in the anechoic chamber at Canada's National Research Council. When we look at the charts, we can see a generally flat, meaning neutral, frequency response, both on and off axis, good bass extension given the speaker's small size, respectably low distortion, and a generally easy amplifier load. Objectively and subjectively, it's a well-designed loudspeaker. Then there are a few more things I can add that tip it more in the favor of being a good reference. Its build quality is good for the price and we think it looks quite nice. And then also it's readily available. And for reviewing purposes, this is important because the last thing you want for readers is to read about something that they can't find anywhere. Focal is sold worldwide and you can find this loudspeaker many places. When you add up all those things, sound quality, objective measurements, build quality, appearance, availability, it's not hard to see why we feel it's a good reference at about $1,000 per pair, but it's not the only speaker to buy at that price. Instead, what it represents for us, and hopefully for you, is a great baseline for what to expect for about $1,000 for a pair of speakers. And that goes for all of our recommended reference components. So what I would like you to do right now is go to soundstagehifi.com, look up that list, see if you recognize any components, seek some out to listen to, and let me know if you agree. Thank you for watching.